Hello and welcome to another installment of questions from viewers and for those who are new to this series or maybe new to the channel this is where you can submit a question via speakpipe.com slash hsg and potentially have it answered in a standalone video such as this one and on this particular occasion I'm going to throw it over to Steve K to ask his question. So I've recently sold my Monaro and replaced it with a 330S STI Impreza hatchback. I remember back in the day really not thinking very much of the hatchbacks and preferring the older style. I was part of the, you know, hatchback is not a true Impreza mindset, but I've come round to actually quite liking it now. The question from that being, where do you stand? Do you prefer newer or older cars on average? And what would be the reasons why? And there we are. The question is often brought up by petrol heads, old versus new, older versus newer versions of particular cars, even older versus newer cars in general. So which are better? And especially when it comes to this question, what are my personal preferences here? What are your personal preferences? So of course, slap down in the comments, maybe some specific examples where you prefer newer or older, or maybe just a sweeping generalization if you do, for instance, always prefer newer or always prefer older. Now, for me, it is very, very much so a case-by-case -case basis. Generally speaking, I would call myself more of a newer car fan. And that might actually surprise some of you. You might have thought I was going to say classics because I talk about my love of classics a lot. But here's the thing. For me, my love of classic cars is very much so like going into an art museum. There may be dozens of pieces that you absolutely love, but you don't necessarily want to have them on your own wall. You might like to sell them and get the money associated with it, but not necessarily the security, the maintenance, and even sometimes just the space associated with having or owning that piece of art. That is an awful lot like a classic car. The security, or lack thereof, with older locking systems, bad alarms, or no alarm at all, the fact that they're easier to steal, but also the offset that they could be worth more. You may even have some kind of antique car, eventually, if you keep it for long enough, much like a piece of art. And much like art, there are people who will love it or hate it, but generally speaking, a classic car will be appreciated. So it's very much so like, to me at least, walking around an art museum. Now the thing is, I don't want to own those pieces of art, but I do really love them. There are certain classic cars which I would love to own, so when it comes to real-life ownership, generally speaking, I'm more of a newer car kind of guy, because yes, older cars can be easier to work on, easier to fix, and sometimes simpler, and more often than not, I would argue a lot of them have a lot more character and charm, much like an old grainy movie will have charm because it's not as good or not as adept as a modern day film. It just has that almost intangible character quality to it, much like a classic car or a classic bike. But when it comes to actual ownership, it's more of a risk to me. Now, when it comes to, for instance, the, the situation that Steve mentioned, where the Subaru isn't a particularly old car, even in its original form, it's like the mid-90s. So that's not crazy old anyway. So when you compare like a, a modern car to an even newer version, let's say, for example, comparing like a, a Ford Focus ST from 2005 to like a newer version, well, on those occasions, I will mostly, mostly, prefer the newer one. But, interestingly, when it comes to the world of hot hatches, I will often prefer the older one. So, for example, I love the Golf R32, especially the one that I drove, the Mark V, and I've always loved the Mark IV, more than the newer Golf Rs. Now, I haven't driven the Golf R yet, so I'm just talking about like the character, the look, the engine choice, those kind of surface-level things I prefer about the older cars. Now, it remains to be seen when I actually drive the newer one, which I prefer, but when I have driven older and newer versions, which hasn't happened that often, but one prime example would be my Touareg. I owned a first-generation Touareg V10, and then I drove the latest incarnation in its black edition form. I love the newer one, but there was something about it which didn't quite have that character that the original had. And of course, a lot of that is to do with that V10 engine. Even though it's a diesel, it's still a very unique character to the car. Another example would be my Maseratis. The older Quattroporte that I had a couple of years ago, compared to the one which I own now. They're the same lineage, 
only four years separates the cars. My first one was a 2005 with the Cambio box, sometimes called the Duo Select, and the car that I've currently got is a 2009 with the ZF. They feel so different though, and I talked about that in my car reveal video and in my car review for that vehicle in Beards and Cars. They feel surprisingly different, even though it's, on the surface of things, a minor facelift. So to me, when it comes to newer versus even newer, I will often prefer the newer one. The times when I don't is when the older car to me has more character. Now, when it comes to classics, I tend to prefer classics in an abstract sense. So, for example, much like the art scenario, if I were to look at, for example, like a, a classic Iso Griffo, and compare that to whatever the modern day equivalent would be. I mean, there aren't really any equivalents. I mean, back then you had maybe the Jensen Interceptor would have been a rival for it, but these days they don't really make cars like that anymore. But if you could compare it to something today, let's say, for example, a Sparta Coda Tronca, which is pretty much the only modern day equivalent of an Iso Griffo in terms of its shape and kind of purpose being a fastback GT, well, then I prefer the original. It's not a prime example, because both of them are fairly unique cars and they don't have too much in common, but you see what I mean. I will often prefer the older version of cars if it offers something that the newer version or newer rivals simply don't have. So for me, if you compare Jag E-Type to Jag XKR, I will go XKR every time. If you compare Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing to SLS AMG, I will go SLS every time. And I know that to many people that will be sacrilege. On other occasions, though, I swing completely the opposite. So, for example, if you offered me, like, a, an old Boss 429 Mustang, or the latest Mustang, even the crazy 700 horsepower GT500 that we currently have, I would 100% choose the original. And I've noticed about myself that often that is the case when it comes to American cars. I will almost always prefer the older version of American cars, especially when it comes to stuff like muscle cars, pony cars, and luxury cars. So for instance, I would 100% take a 1959 Cadillac DeVille or a Buritz over a brand new CTS. Because to me, there's just no comparison there. For that kind of experience, the older car offers more of what I would want. I would choose a 1962 Lincoln Continental over any current Lincoln, you know, a Navigator that's like 80 grand or whatever, full of tech, I'll choose the old one. So for me, very much it's a case-by-case -case thing. I would say most of the time, as a general rule, I prefer older cars when you're talking about them. So if it's just something that I get the opportunity to drive, then I'll probably love the older one more. You know, just the good points, looking at it, listening to it, driving it, enjoying it. But when it comes to the actual ownership experience, more often than not, I will prefer the newer one. Mostly because they'll tend to have a lot of the kinks ironed out. They'll tend to be more reliable, have lower mileage, better resale value, all of those boring things that happen in real life. So to me, those are, those are the two distinctions. There are still occasions where I would choose an older one, the Tuareg being a perfect example. But generally speaking, that's how I fall. So tell me down below how you fall. Maybe even point out some specific examples where you prefer one or the other. But until next time, that's it for this question. Of course, drop yours on speakpipe.com slash HSG for the chance to be featured. And until next time, I'll see you then. So if you want to check out the other topics which we've touched on, click on the playlist on screen. And until next time, I'll see you then. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.